What's up, XL? So what I'm going to be doing is breaking down the weekend's newly released video called How Do I Make You Love Me? Now, this is an animated video. Uh, this is not new to Abel as he's done it with his most recent, well, previous album or his Snow Child music video in which that contained a lot of imagery as well. And I'm going to be breaking down this video and what I think it means for us all as fans and spectators. Uh, this is my own opinion. Uh, feel free to comment with your own theories, but this is my theory of that music video. So with that being said, let's start. We're going back in time. I'd like to see you try Unpacking thoughts through tunnels in your mind I'd fix your mushroom tea And cross the restless sea Now with that part Abel is waking up in a hospital uh, Now Abel is waking up in a hospital with a, with a mask on uh, This is very reminiscent to his uh, I believe it was the Out of time video at the end in which you have Jim Carrey looking through the little eyeglass at Abel in a hospital. It's very reminiscent of that scene in that video. But um this is where Abel wakes up and he wakes up with this this mask on him. And as he's getting up he's kind of he's surrounded by doctors and surgeons. And what do what do I believe this means? I believe that this these doctors, these surgeons, these white coats and slacks wearing people. I believe those are us. It's us XO fans. It's us OG fans. It's the casual fans. It's the media. It's it's spectators. It's it's all of us sitting here watching Abel and trying to craft and make Abel into what we want him to be. Let's keep going. Release yourself to escape reality It doesn't phase you I need a breakthrough I only want what's right in front of me It's quite unusual Seeking approval Begging for it desperately Now Right there, Abel is coming off the bed, and he's fighting. He's coming off the bed, and he's fighting. Now, this is Abel trying to get away from all of us. All of us, like I said, OG fans, all of us EXO fans, all the casual fans, spectators, the media, etc. Abel's trying to get away from all of us and our expectations of what we want him to be. You know, he realizes that he has this, this, this mask on, this disguise. He realizes that he has that on, and that's just us trying to place whatever version of him that we want on him. Our expectations. That's what we're trying to place on Abel. And Abel's just trying to outrun those expectations, trying to outlive those expectations. That's why he's getting off the bed. He's trying to fight us back, and he's trying to escape. And we're all just trying to pull Abel in our direction. That's what we're pulling on his arm for. We're trying to pull him in our direction. And we want him to do what we want him to do. Whether it's make he'll make the trilogy, he'll make the kiss land, he'll make the beauty behind the madness, etc. We're just trying to pull him in our direction. Now, you notice as he's going over to the window, there's a white figure. I believe has green hair laying on a bed semi next to him. Now this figure, though it, it does look like an animated version of the Joker from the DC comics. But um this white figure, this this deformed, weird looking figure is the weekend's worst nightmare. It's what he feels like he might inevitably become. Something that he's trying to, that he doesn't want to become. And what might this worst nightmare, this demon, this thing might be? 
what is it? Well, this is predictability and this is expectations. That's another celebrity, that's another person that was put in the same shoes as Abel that faltered to people's expectations, that went with what everybody wanted him to be or wanted that individual to be. And in turn, they, that person lost everything that made them who they were. Almost to the point that this person's a mutant, unrecognizable. And, yeah. And now, um, just kind of to further along the point of us pulling them in a direction, it comes to a point in which we're trying to pull Abel, we keep pulling Abel, and he actually pulls off his arm. Like I said, this is just us trying to grasp at the straws and grasp at the arm of, of Abel and trying to make him into what we want him to be. And let's keep going. <laughs> Right there, Abel jumps out the window, and then he's hit by a car. Now, what is this? Well, Abel decides. Abel decides, rather than conforming to our expectations, to the point that his arm's being pulled off. That's how much we're trying to grasp at him. And make him be what we want him to be. He decides, like, I can't do that. I can't be that. And he just decides to, he'd rather die than falter to the point that he commits, <laughs> no pun intended, career suicide by jumping out that window. But uh, like Abel's said in the past, he's felt the ground before, so he's not afraid of the fall. And he has fell, in fact jumped, and he's hit the ground. But he might feel that maybe he is too big to fail. Like I said, if he's felt the ground before, he's been at the lowest of the lowest level in this totem pole. So I ain't going to say that he's necessarily too big to fail, but no matter how low he falls, Abel feels that he can make it out of anything because he's done it before. He's felt it. Now, as he's getting up, because obviously he ain't afraid of the fall, he's getting up and he's alive. And he's almost, I wouldn't say, well, we can say confronted by a vehicle and an individual in the vehicle. This individual sees Abel as he's getting up. And there's these moths are flying out of his face and then he's ran over, <laughs> killed again. Now, what is this? Well, this person's scared of what Abel's doing, scared of what Abel's becoming, scared of those bizarre changings, changes in him. Like I said, this is us. This is us prior to Dawn FM dropping when Abel's doing all those, in my opinion, a lot of kind of subpar features that like he's coming off of a great album and he's kind of moving on to a different phase and he's kind of doing features that a lot of us felt were subpar or could have been better that's what this is this is it this is what's scaring us this is our fears our fears that Abel is going to be isn't going to be what we want him to be even though he's doing what he want to do he kind of mutated now 
also not just the features when Dawn FM first dropped, when the album first dropped, we all also, not all of us, but most of its fans, whether it's just OG fans, as well as just, just spectators or people that just know him from his most recent, most popular album, After Hours, we all had expectations of what this Dawn FM album was going to be. And needless to say, 99.999% of the fans that went to listen to that album were not impressed with their first listen of Dawn FM because it wasn't what we wanted, which we were all scared and we were all panicking just like that individual in that car. And as you can see, there's moths, which I believe indicates moth to a flame. And we're going to keep going so I can elaborate more. Let's keep going. Now right there, you see this little moth gets bigger. It's a giant moth climbing over the buildings, you know, almost like the Godzilla scene. As well as Abel catching a young lady, an Asian lady, a young Asian lady. Now, what does these mean? What does this mean? Well, as the little moth gets bigger, I believe that this is actually hinting at the weekend's Moth to a Flame video. As you can see, he had those moths kind of throughout this music video, but they were small. But I, I believe that that indicates, like I said, this Moth to a Flame song that he did with the Swedish House Mafia. The song, I felt like it kind of started off a little bit slow in terms of people catching on to that song. The song, the collab that he did. People kind of, it started out pretty you know, slow. And slowly but surely, it started to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And people started to catch on to that song, Moth to a Flame. And I believe it to the point, got to the point where not a moth. That small moth that started all the way back up in the hospital that, that frightened people when they were pool enabled. And it came out to the, the, the slew of moths when Abel gets hit by a car. Now it's more and more people calling on to to a point that now Moth to a Flame is pretty big now. It's a decent size and it's catching everybody and it's pulling everybody and sucking everybody to it because now we're catching on to it, you know. Uh, that speaks to the time that it takes for us to catch on to some of his music and some of his stuff that he's doing. Like we might at first be reluctant to it, but over time we start to gain an appreciation for it or even start to like it. Now, Abel, the second portion of Abel, catches this Asian lady. Uh, this, in my hypothesis, um, this indicates his, like his album, Kissland, his previous album, Kissland, which was very Asian-themed, Japanese-themed. Um, Abel catches that, and this is like, almost like Abel is holding on or falling back to something falling back to those time periods um it's almost like he's drawing a parallel between now with some of his stuff not really being some of his stuff like dawn fm or even multiple flame not being received very well initially to back with his kissland album which wasn't necessarily received the best by fans as well as individuals and it was kind of it feels like it seems like he's kind of catching that Catching those vibes, huh? Or catching that riff. I'm sorry. Terrible puns, but he's kind of there's some kind of um thing that he's seeing in that in which there's comparisons, you know, there's a similar kind of feel that Abe was getting. Now let's keep going. I'll teach you how to shine.
as you can see, this uh, lady, this woman, this Asian lady, her face now flattens. Abel goes in for the kiss and it blows up. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Explodes. Now what is this? Uh, like I said, this, this beautiful woman uh, represents his previous album, which, like I said, didn't get a lot of great reception when it first came out. Kiss Land. Um, however, her face flattens, you know, it falls. Like I said, those expectations that, that people had of that, it fell flat, at least with that Kiss Land album and people's receptions. Abel kisses it, and now it blows up into after hours. And this could be, like I said, Abel used that appreciation that we didn't give him throughout his career or for certain songs or things that he did and it turned into something bigger in which he used all those elements of Kiss Land and etc. with all those albums and created this big global phenomenon which is After Hours which was After Hours and for a moment we thought huh, After Hours is big this is a great album but it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger bigger and maybe to the point that he didn't even expect it to be as big as what it actually became you know he got a whole super bowl out of it and then some to the point that this after hours inflatable thing actually kills that moth um, 2021 last year great songs you know there there are songs that able put out you know he put out like take my breath i believe he put out Moth to a Flame. Yeah, he did last year as well. But what song was practically the biggest song of last year? It was a song from After Hours. It was Save Your Tears. So even though Abel's still trying to move on, that big umbrella, that big balloon of After Hours is still overarching, overarching a lot of stuff that he does. Because it's almost like an anomaly. Even he didn't expect it. So let's keep going. Now, what that shows right there is Abel trying to escape this. Abel's escaping the. His, he's trying to escape that newfound fame, that, that blowing up that he did with After Hours. He's trying to move on. That's why he took the tunnels. You know, he took the sewage way. He took the scenic route. He's trying now to be low key. He's trying now to go a different path. He doesn't want to do the same thing as previous work that he's just done so now he's trying to go and go down a different path however as he's going that different path that scenic route he still has he's still confronted by this entity this this thing the same creature <laughs> that was in the hospital that had got mutated and turned into expectations and turned into everything that everybody wanted them to be this thing's still trying to grab a hold of Abel you know he goes a new path he goes to a new era he does this dawn FM however all of us are still carrying over our expectations from all his previous stuff and we're still trying to place it on him and pull him into what we want him to do and Abel continues to fight it off you know this is his worst nightmare is that predictability and the expectations that we're trying to set on them because like Abel said expectations can kill a simple man therefore he's fighting it off he's fighting it off and he ultimately kills it which is good but still 
he still has to keep fighting these demons. No matter which route that he goes, he still has to fight this fight because it never really ends. Let's keep going. Now, right there, uh, you see an, an Asian lady trimming some flower trimming, you know, trimming the roots from a flower. This is Abel going back to his roots. You know, when there's no place else left to go for Abel, when there's nothing much for him to do, when he's falling on hard times, he has no other place to go but to his roots where he started his earlier sound what he was before that's what he reverts back to because that's all that he feels like he really has he has that past experience of how we felt like they said how people initially felt like I said kiss land kiss land like a lot of people everybody loved trilogy the trilogy mixtape but when it comes to kiss land that album that is now reverted to as a classic, a cult classic. Everybody loves it. All of his fans are magically like gigantic fans of the dang album. Kiss Land and, and this, that, and the third. And they big it up and all this stuff. But you go back to when he dropped Kiss Land, like 2013, 2014. People weren't really feeling it at that time. It was something that people trashed because expectations they expected something different they expected some more of trilogy but they got kiss line and they did not like it it was not as critically acclaimed as people act like it is or act like it was or and whatnot and that's what Abe was reverting back to he's saying like all right i'm gonna go back to my roots because i felt this before you know i felt the ground before i felt the same disdain from people and that's the place that he goes because over time it always leads back to people appreciating his stuff. Now let's finish off this video. <laughs> This, as you can see, the Asian lady, uh, Kiss Land, is confronted by Abel, and she's afraid of him. She's scared of him. And as he's banging his head to the door, he shreds all this, and his face falls off, and it's disgusting. And she's just Kiss Land lady, this Asian lady. She's afraid of Abel to the point she slams the door and locks it. This is. Abel, like I said, reverting back to his roots, his old self, and maybe even trying to be what he used to be. And he realizes that barking up that tree or trying that, that he can't do it anymore. It's something they can't do anymore, you know. He's not able to. He can't go backwards because he isn't in the same, he's not in the same mindset as then. He's not having the same experiences to a certain extent that he has had then that's an entirely different him and seeing that he can't go back in time anymore and that door is already closed and locked and what he's telling us is new beginning all that old mold fell off him all that stuff's done this is new beginning for Abel he's somebody else he's something different he's still going to do different things, try different things, and experiment. He's not going to keep doing the same thing, however. One thing that he is letting us know is that 
all the old stuff that we want. The trilogy, the Kiss Land, the Beauty Behind the Madness, the Star Boy, My Dear Melancholy, the After Hours. All that stuff is gone. All this stuff's gone. He's not going to give you that anymore. We're not getting that error. Those errors are done. It's a new beginning for him. He's going to keep doing what he does. However, it's going to be differently. He's going to do it his way. This is a rebirth of him. That's what that video means. Thank you for watching.